My universe will never be the same. I'm glad you came. guys i just want to say before this video starts um p please share this on your social media like facebook instagram um uh twitter and all that that would um help inspire other people to go to dupont and persevere in whenever their life's problem so i would really appreciate it if you shared it on social media and enjoy me being on TV. Here we go. I think it's safe to say that undergoing intensive surgery is never an easy process. If that's not hard enough, the recovery process can be even more difficult to get through. Imagine having to learn how to do the things that you take for granted, the routine stuff, like standing, walking. Well, there are a lot of patients at Nemours Alfred I. DuPont Hospital for Children that know that process way too well, and that is why their staff has implemented a program to help their patients move forward with a little less stress. The Marvel Life Sydney Whitfield has the story. Cerebral palsy patient Gavin Schneider and his mother are working every day to improve his mobility. So I want to be able to walk back at my normal speed because right now I'm really slow at walking. We're looking more for quality over quantity. So he's walking much better. He's more, walking much more efficiently. Because I used to drag my feet. He used to drag his feet, and his, he, it took him a lot of energy to walk. Though that process can take some time, the team at Nemours Alfred I. DuPont Hospital is making sure that Gavin feels like any other 16-year-old, which is why they have added the Child Life program. Jen Sciola is the director of Child Life Creative Arts. She says she understands what it's like to be hospitalized as a child. We are the program that really helps children feel like children in the hospital in that uh, we are very much centered around play and recreation in the hospital. So my team um, on a daily basis ensures that play materials and activities and programs are developed and, um, and supported no matter where that patient is in the hospital. One of the most recent features included in that program is their therapy van. Physical therapist Kristen Lockwood has had the opportunity to work one-on-one -on -one with patients. This van has given us the opportunity to bring patients out that we previously wouldn't be able to. With the lift, we can bring patients that aren't able to transfer into the van. We have a battery, so any patients on a ventilator, we can make sure that they're supported. Um, and it lets us make therapy even more fun, but also make sure that patients and families feel really comfortable before they transition back home. She says the therapy van is basically a vehicle that the team uses to transport children with wheelchairs or with limited walking abilities. So the idea is if someone can't step up into the car, there needs to be another way to get in. So usually you're on your tush and so you're going up different levels until you get to the step. The team says that the ultimate goal is for the patient to be familiar with the community while still having some assistance to fall back onto. Knowing that community is such a big part of growing up, you know, being able to go to a fast food restaurant and, and um, knowing how much, how to pay for something, how much things are, knowing how to do the math and how much change I should be getting back, um, but also being out and about in a store. Um, how do I, you know, if I need something on the top shelf, how do I get that if nobody is around? Kristen Lockwood says Gavin was the perfect patient to finally bring out to the community once again. He was one of the first kids that I thought, this is someone we need to get out. He's so motivated to eat food that's not hospital food, to walk around, to go shopping, and he was had so much fun. So he was a great one. We got to practice things that we've worked on in the gym. Gavin's mother says she knows his improvement is even encouraging the patients who aren't as far along as he is in the recovery process. Some of the kids that are coming up behind Gavin that have had their surgery after, you know, they're coming up behind Gavin and they see all the good work he's doing. And so it's kind of just like a nice, you know, it's like team effort and um, everybody's really encouraging each other. You know, they're at different stages of recovery. And um, so that really, that, really, that really helps the kids to see, you know, I'm going to be doing this and I can't wait to do what he's doing. 
You know, thanks to that therapy van, patients just like Gavin are getting the help that they need to recover. Mm. Doing what you have to do to get the patient better. That's wonderful. Isn't that the best way to go? Mm -hmm. All the time. Now, if you'd like to know more about Nemours Alfred I. DuPont Hospital for Children, all you have to do is visit our website, demarvelife.com.